This is Fedora 26 with the KDE Plasma 5.10 desktop. Now to get this, go to the Get Fedora page. You notice there's a workstation version, a server version, and an atomic version for use with dockers. I'm going to go down here to Want More Fedora Option and then click on Fedora Spins. And you'll see all of these listed. KDE, Plasma, XFCE, LXQt, Mate Compiz, Cinnamon, LXDE, and Soaz. You want more options, go to Fedora Labs. I'm going back up here to KD Plasma, and of course, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to download it. But if you click on this, you can download it. Download now. Now, as I said, this is KDE Plasma version 5.10. It's kernel version 4.11.10. It came with kernel version 4.11.08, and it's already upgraded to the next version. Now there are three ways you can get software. The first is Discover, the KDE Plasma Graphic Software Center. And let me say that this did not work when I first installed the system. I had to do the first upgrade, and then after I did the upgrade, this worked perfectly. And again, it's all done with a hierarchical menu. You can look for what you want, accessories, science and engineering, internet, One thing about Discover, like uh, GNOME software in the GTK framework, Discover does not seem to have all of the available software listed. So another way of getting software is to go up here to Administration, DNF Dragora. As I pointed out in my review of the Cinnamon version of Fedora, make sure this says show x86-64 and no arch only. Now to get anything, just type in the name. I'm going to type in GIMP, which by the way is a GTK application. Click on search. And here is GIMP. So then you can click on apply, OK, 
add your password and you can see it's installing The third way of installing software is to go to the terminal emulator. I'm now going to make this a little bigger by going to view and large font. I'm going to make it even bigger. Control plus All right, I'm going to install MuseScore, sudo, dnf, install, mscore. Press enter, enter my password. Press enter. Is this okay? Yes. Press enter. Now it's complete, so I can close the terminal. And under multimedia, I have MuseScore. Now I've had a little trouble with I've had a little trouble with this installation. Um, some things don't work very well. For instance, I enabled screen edges under settings workspace green edges you can see I have present windows from the current desktop over there and I have desktop grid over on the right But when I go over to the screen edge, nothing happens. It worked initially, but it isn't working now. I trust that if I do enough updates, it may start working again. But often with Fedora, you find that it takes a few upgrades before everything is working perfectly. As you may know, this is not the only possible menu. It's the one I like best. That's the application menu. You can also go to the traditional application launcher or the application dashboard.
which is okay. At least it's organized in some kind of fashion. Had to press escape to get out of that. However, I like the application menu best. Now, if you take a look at DNF Dragora again and click on File Repositories. I'm going to try that again. File Repositories. Notice I have Fedora. That's the one it came with. There were a couple here that I that it. There were a couple here that it came with that I haven't enabled. The Fedora Cisco Open H two six four repository and the corresponding debug information repository. Fedora debug information. Fedora source. Now. With RPM Fusion, I install RPM Fusion free. RPM Fusion free updates. RPM Fusion non-free and RPM Fusion non-free updates. Now, the RPM Fusion website changes a little bit in detail every so often. So what may have worked last time may not work this time. First look for RPM Fusion. Now, what I found worked best this time is first under Users, you want to enable RPM Fusion on your system. And you have a series of options. There's a graphical option. But I found that the easiest one is the command line option. For Fedora 22 and later, you just copy this long line. Open a terminal. Again, I'm going to make this bigger. Right click and paste. Now, I've already installed this, so I don't have to install it again, but I just press enter, enter my password, and let it go to town. And I'll have both the free and non free. RPM Fusion repositories. That's how I was able to get Simple Screen Recorder and VLC Media Player, among other things. Of course, as with all implementations of Plasma 5, you can click on the little bar symbol there and then click on Add Widgets and you get this series of widgets. You can add them to the screen, you could add them to the panel. Every year there seem to be a few more widgets. Here 
Here's the weather forecast. But to do anything, I have to make some settings. Location, Chicago. I have a choice of Midway Airport, O'Hare Airport. I'm closer to Midway. Apply. Now I have the weather forecast. The data is from BBC Weather. By the way, if I want to change the size of this weather widget, I'll just click on it and wait a minute. And not only can I move it around, I can make it bigger, smaller, so basically you just click and hold. Now, to configure that, you can right-click on the desktop and go to Configure Desktop. You notice that I've already gotten rid of the little toolbox in the corner, and I've gotten rid of the icons by choosing the desktop layout rather than the folder view. But under Tweaks, one of the options is Widget Handling, and it's already checked Press and Hold Widgets to move them and reveal their handles. So that was already checked. One thing I should mention is that the KD Plasma desktop uses far fewer resources than the GNOME 3 desktop or the Cinnamon desktop. In some cases, only half to two-thirds of the resources. I don't want to quote actual numbers because when you're reading the RAM usage, it tends to vary from time to time, from place to place, depending on when you read it and what tool you use to read it by but it's much lighter in weight than GNOME and Cinnamon. Now, as I've said in other videos, Fedora is distinguished by having the latest software, and it's upgraded to new version numbers as they appear, while in Ubuntu, for instance, there are bug fixes and security fixes, but generally the software remains in the same version number for the lifetime of the installation. So if you want not only the latest Plasma 5 desktop, but also the latest software in general, this is a good way of getting it. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.